Hi everybody, this is Roy from Daisy Bee Crafts. I'm just going to show you how to stamp this um, dog stamp that I've drawn with the pointillism technique. It might put a lot of people off uh, because there's quite a lot of detail. People might think, uh, oh I can't do that, it's, it's really uh, detailed. But um, it's quite easy actually. Um, so that's one of Josie's samples she did with the with the design. Really, really nice is that one. So um, I'm just going to stamp initially onto um, it's about 250 300 GSM white card, and I'm using uh, Versafine Onyx Black to um, make sure the stamps fully impregnated okay, make sure it's all over put plenty of ink on notice I'm not rubbing it or anything I'm just patting it like that well you can't see much of it but uh, and then take my and I'm just tilting it so that I can get a good bit of weight on there without showing my head and then that's a good position there and then make sure with these stamps all you've got to do is just rub over every every um, part of the stamp where it's black a little bit of pressure those massage um, those massage ball devices that, are, that are, you can get off eBay for about three or four quid they're brilliant with uh, heavily detailed stamps um, sometimes you know you might uh, you might have uh, thought you've got it all over but these will show up uh, where you've missed uh, applying a bit of pressure and I also think that if you haven't got a stamping platform of some kind these flat um, plates that we use for um, for our stamps uh, they're the next best thing because as you can see they're very flexible you know, I'm bending that bending that and that flexibility allows you to apply pressure and you don't get any hollow bits even if your desk's sagging so right so that's the um that's the image stamped so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put the uh embossing i'm going to emboss it obviously and uh i didn't use an anti-static pad simply because it's clear it's clear embossing powder so it's not the end of the world if I get my finger fingerprint on there uh, although I've done pretty well there I ain't got anything on there so I'll put that back later so I don't need it again and then we simply heat this up like this and it, it's good when it's a, a dark color and on clear because you can see when it's when it's turned when it's actually melted the plastic particles as it goes black like that you can't see from a heat gun black and shiny like that all the way around avoiding fingers that's it Because there's nothing worse than you think you've got it all and then you you just catch it to put your fingers on it when you think it's it's set and it, it dusts off the uh, the powder right so now we can stick that onto the card very simply like this here's one i prepared earlier very simple with the old scalpel like that nice quick uh, sample this usually we do long and involved ones but they asked me to do one just to show people that you know don't be frightened of buying a a, um, a stamp that's this particular design in you know, this this type of this style of uh, artwork because it really is um, there's nothing to it really well there is just make sure you put plenty of pressure on I suppose that's the that's the argument there um, but the detail because it's so heavily detailed it's it's really 
you don't need much else on there so it's a simple card in that respect um, but I've done quite a few uh, designs like in this style now since we've been going and uh, it's going to be quite a collection so um, I, I should probably do more different dogs different types of dogs and um, other animals people love animals so I'm just putting that onto the card like that hopefully it's nice and I don't want to get my head in the way so that book don't look too bad and there you have the nice and simple uh, stamp of a I'm sorry if I've got it wrong it's either a Cocker Spaniel or a Springer Spaniel I was getting mixed up if I have done the other one uh, that's another another um, I hope to brought a sample over but never mind but yeah uh, that's very very straightforward simple card and, uh, and thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed that and catch out watch out for some more thank you